Tonight on Vox, it's a very special episode of Dread Zone. Planet Stygia. It's a world ravaged by continual meteor storms. Why, if not for Stygia's powerful defense shield, the entire planet would be decimated in a matter of hours. But somebody dismantled the shield's power supply. Who would do such a horrible thing to the poor people of Stygia? I don't know, but it sure makes for good reality HV. <laughs> Stay tuned for the hottest episode of Dread Zone yet. And if you live on Stygia, the last one. <laughs> huh. Oh, you know they're going to blame Ratchet for this. But, you know, instead of blaming Ratchet for this, you would think they'd maybe try and push Ratchet to the forefront, maybe try and blame Ace Hardlight for this. He's old news. Ratchet's the new hotness. I mean, the fans already love him. They want my merchandise. Stop shoving Ace Hardlight down our throats. He's not John Cena. Planet Stygia, a beautiful world with pink sand beaches, friendly service, and giant meteor storms pummeling the surface. We're live from the Tempest Control Station, thousands of feet above the ground, where powerful meteor shields protect the people below. But not today, because we've turned them off. Can Team Darkstar destroy the jamming devices and save Stygia? Only time will tell in this final round, as the fate of an entire planet rests in their hands. Wait, two things real quick. First, did he just admit that they were the ones who turned off the shields? And two, I swear we've already been to this planet. I mean, it looks like one that we were at near the beginning of the... ...to destroy the power units on either side of the force field. You must hurry. The people of Stygia are in danger. Hmm. But I swear, we've been to this planet. It looks like one of the ones we were at the very beginning of the game. Can't remember it off the top of my head, but it had a lot of these catwalk-type areas, these walkways as well as those giant towers in the middle connecting them. What was that? I'm thinking it was maybe Kronos? That might be it? A lot of the planets on this on this game don't really have memorable names, but I think that might be it. But it looks a lot like that planet. I'm not saying that they're rehashing their level designs, but eh, maybe? I mean, I know there's only so much you could do with a game like this, but... They'd be a little bit more creative, couldn't they? They were a lot more creative with the other games. We've already had, we've seen a desert, we've seen an ice area. Maybe a water area. Maybe something like Pokitaru. A resort. I would love something like this in this game. Okay, I'm getting shot. But yeah, on the subject of making Ratchet the new... Face the Vox... Maybe start pushing him. Make him the fa he's already the fan favorite. He's the underdog right now. As much as they're trying to get us or get the fans to hate him, they love him right now. Embrace it. Start selling his merchandise. What have you got to lose? Ace Hardlight? Well, people are already losing interest in him. Fans are fickle. Got to keep up with the times. You can't just force one person when they don't want to see him. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay back, because otherwise those rockets are going to get me, like they are right now. Now, I can somewhat shoot them out of the air, but they're still doing quite a bit of damage. Now, I remember on that one mission a couple planets ago, where these guys did, like, what, a quarter of damage to me each shot? So, definitely want to stay back. And there's no reason, really, to get up that close. Play it strategically. I mean, if it was just me, then yeah, I'd be up right in close quarters, but with a ship like this... Well, you know what? Actually, there's a repla uh, repair place right here, so I don't really need to be that careful. I was kind of worried that the only repair place would be at the very start of the level, and I'd have to go all the way back if I wanted to. Well, in this case, I can actually get up close and personal. No harm, no foul. Game was making me worry for nothing. Now, that I do need to take care of, because it is kind of shooting me from long range. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. One hit, I think, took off that giant chunk of health. Okay, maybe two hits. Still, it's a lot of damage. Might as well heal now. Come on. There we go. Not so bad. 
Am I gonna have to disable this thing, or is it gonna be automatically off? No, well, never mind. Short work of that. Yeah, these guys are priority. Strafe around, maybe? Just do not fly off the cliff! Please do not do that. I mean, that's gonna be an instant death. That's gonna be a lot worse than just simply taking a hit or two. Wait, to the left. How many of these are there? One on each corner? So four? Alright. Now I'm gonna play strategically here. I'm not gonna go around, I'm gonna go this way. That way in case anyone drops down right there, I can simply avoid them. Because I don't really think you get that much experience when you're in a vehicle. I think it's like limited. Alright, again. And I want to avoid that thing over there if I can, so quickly stealth my way over here and blow it up. Yes, I see enemies spawning. If I got plenty of health, I'm good. Blow it up. Quick! Oh my god, I completely missed that. I whiffed. Oh wait, I still got it. Never mind. I got it from around the corner. <laughs> nice. Cheap, admittedly. I will admit that was a cheap move. But it works. And that's all that counts. Oh, talk about bad luck. Team Darkstar has damaged the control tower. The shields are down. The shields are down! Was that too dramatic? The shields have been down, haven't they? Looks like Team Darkstar will have to turn on the shields manually. Too bad that's impossible. They'll need tech bots, supercomputers, and a big silver key. All right, I'm kidding about the key, but wouldn't that oh. be great? It would be fun, wouldn't it? I wanted a key. Reminds me of old platformers. Okay, anything new? Hmm. I could still buy the Hunter Mine Launcher Mini Bomb combo. And I'm kind of thinking, I don't think I'm going to be able to afford the, the Harbinger on this playthrough. I mean, that seemed like a thing you'd have to get in New Game Plus. I mean, two million. Is it worth buying this combo? Oh, man. I'm going to continue to hold off. Because I think there might be some more weapons or Omega Mods left in the game. And I don't know how much those might cost. So we're going to hold off again. Maybe wait for the next planet, because there's only two left. There's the final tournament, and then there's Miraxis. And then we're done. So I'm going to wait till Miraxis to see if there's anything new I can buy there. Where am I going? I need to go up here. Jump pad. Could I go that way? I guess might as well just do this one. No reason to get ahead of myself. If you can deactivate the lightning collectors, I can manually recalibrate them from here. Wait, no. I want to level up the squirt, the Mjolnir. I love this thing. I want it to be level 10 as soon as possible. That's the first one I want to be level 10, actually. Because I can see it being so power- oh my god. Speaking of powerful... Um, there wouldn't happen to be a health crate up here, would there? Okay, there is one. So I think my issue with the Mjolnir at first, when I first got it, was the fact that I was jumping to slam it down, like you did it with the Quantum Whip in Up Your Arsenal. Which isn't really as practical in this game. In this game, you want to just stand still when you slam it down. Who needs that one upgrade? I'm just gonna... Oh, upgrade. Speaking of upgrade. I don't need that one upgrade on my minions. The ones where they protect each other, or they have a shield when they turn the bolt. I don't need that. It works a lot better... Uh, Ma Magma Cannon's almost level 9. It works a lot better when you just clear out all the enemies. Or just protect them yourself. Let them do all the hard work. Wait, there's another enemy. There he is. Wow, he's high up. Okay, let me just do it that way. Make it. Yeah, I'm not going to make that jump until I've cleared out all the enemies, because otherwise they might shoot me while I'm trying to swing. I don't trust them. I have trust issues. So sue me. Uh, I need a shield. Shield, please. Uh, one right there, one right there. See, I don't know why people say that the shield is a terrible item in this game, because I've heard it multiple times. Oh, you never want to use a shield. It's the worst item in the game. No, I've found it to be very useful. I mean, 
Apparently there's not really that many unuseful weapons in this game aside from the Hunter Mine Launcher. And even then, I can't really say for certain how unuseful it is because I only have limited experience with it. I mean, if anything, it's the mini volcano that's become less useful as we've progressed through the game because now I've got the Mjolnir. Which is actually sad to say because the mini volcano used to be my favorite weapon. No, hit the dropship. Did it get it? It didn't destroy it though. Okay, try that again. Wait, I see someone. Someone on a mini map. Take him out. Thank you. Health? No. I was hoping for too much. Yeah, play it tactfully. Destroy him from this platform first. No reason to go over there. Oh my god. Um. Again, like I said, play it safe. Put the shield up. There. Now I can go across. I don't want to feel like I'm... Nope. Same thing again. I don't want to land and get hit as soon as I land. I had that problem on the tournament area when I was climbing the tower. Landed, then I got hit. Actually, I actually have a couple weapons that are level 8, almost level 9. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna level up the shotgun if I can real quick. Because that might be nice to have for the spread damage. Okay, slowly get in there. Finish him off. Come on, get to level 9. You turn the crank. Okay, maybe a couple more enemies and then it'll level up. I said turn it. Why weren't you turning, man? Do your gerb! Don't turn me! Y'all can't do double duty, one can't turn it while the other one activates his slide? Oh, the slide was for this thing over here, never mind. So, last one, right? Before I make that jump, make sure there's no enemies that can ambush me. And there they are. With some laser beams. Thank God for the shield. And I'm out of shotgun. Figured. Alright, well, in that case... I think I want to level up the mini volcano. I haven't used that for quite a while. I used it a little bit as soon as I got on this planet, but not that much. It needs some more use. It might actually be... Oh, well, never mind. I'm not going that way. It might actually become useful again. Because really, the spread damage that I'm getting from all the magma is being replaced by the shockwave from the Mjolnir. So I'm still getting spread damage one way or the other. Alright, turn it. Why aren't you turning it? I wasn't- I was too far. Huh, out of ammo on both of those. Well, fine. Arbiter, then. But that's awesome effect. I love the flash. That's it! The dishes are done, sir! Simple enough. Sorry, uh, boot camp slang. But I guess the biggest thing with the Mjolnir and the Mini Volcano is that if I run out of ammo with the one, I can always use the other one, since they do pretty much serve the same purpose. Poor Ratchet, he's got a hover ship with no place to go. After recalibrating the lightning collectors, the next step was to hack the control points on the shield's core. Bingo, bango, the shields are up. Too bad the station's core took a direct hit. Too bad the radiation's everywhere. Too bad I said bingo, bango, who writes this junk? Too bad he read the script. Sir, Merc and I will go. You brought us this far. We owe it to you. We'll hack the core's control points. Just make sure you cover us with the hover ship. Keep us covered, sir. I don't want to go home in a trash bin. Oh, please don't tell me that means they're about to die. I like these guys. I love my minions. I don't want to lose them yet. Oh, please don't die, guys. I love you. I need you. You're my best friends. You're the only one supporting me now that Big Al's dead. Oh, no, Big Al's not dead. He's just out of commission. But still, we've been through so much together. Frankly, I'm amazed the little sucker is still alive. How about you, Juanita? The Lombax does display an amazing ability to escape with his miserable hide intact, Dallas. So disappointing. I mean, plus, I can revive you over and over again. You shouldn't be completely gone, right? Even if something bad happens, I should be able to revive you. You seem to be able to do a good job yourself in the field. 
I don't know why I'm destroying those. I mean, they're just lights and cameras. It's a waste of ammo. Of which I have plenty, but still. And I, and I guess from a story standpoint, if without Big L, if these guys received some sort of critical damage, there would be no way to repair them. Oh. Come on, guys, avoid the laser beams. Regroup, come on. Need you over here. Oh, wait. Was that a bomb? What are they trying to bomb? Oh, no, no, that's not the bomb. That's the hacker note. Never mind. I was going to say, what do they need to blow up? I don't know, just something about this mission is making me think in the back of my mind it's going to be a precursor to them dying. Because I've been relying on them very heavily in this game. I have not been turning my own bolts at all. Been making them do all the work. And plus, it seems like they're having more lines of dialogue the past couple missions. Oh wow, they've made it all the way over here? God, you're quick. Okay, wait, no, no. Aim for the minions, not me. Oh god, wait, no, what am I saying? I'm terrible. Dark Star. You can't stop a leather neck. We a death and survive. Please no death cutscene. Please no death cutscene. Uh, okay. The change in music kind of worried me there. Has launched an all-out assault on the shield generator. If Team Darkstar doesn't fend off the attack, the people of Stygia will be flattened like a pancake with syrup and butter and a little orange garnish. Oh no! Can I have breakfast for dinner? Is that just weird? Oh I mean, right, Stygia, Team Darkstar, and Red Zone bad guys. Uh huh. I'm on it. I mean, it would make sense considering how close we are to the end of the game. We only got two planets left, or really one planet left, and then the tournament. So that would be about the time they would want to kill off your allies. I just really don't want them to. Wait. No, I did not mean to do that. I meant to do the quick select. There we go. Level 9, come on. You're so close. You can make it. I mean, there's an ammo vendor right there. Nice, level 9, speed mod. That's fine. That's probably a good thing for the shotgun. Um, I probably need to be defending from inside the room, not outside. So let's go back in here really quick. Get my ammo back, too. Well, I'm, really, I'm not going to use it again, so... We're going to stick at level 9. I'm going to be working on the Mjolnir. This is the only thing I'm going to use now. For the rest of this mission, Mjolnir only. We'll see if we can get it up to level 7 or 8. Well, okay. Correction. The shield and the Mjolnir. Let's be a little more specific with that. That way I at least have some sort of defense. That was easy enough. Come on, a lot more waves. This can't be it. I mean, we defended from all three sides now. Make them all come at once. Or maybe two at a time. Okay, I need to back up. Hold on. There's some health in here that I kind of need now. Um, there's a little bit more, too. I don't know how much damage those guys do, but I think it's, like, more than 30. That shockwave, man. So powerful. Really? That was it? Just one from each side. That was way too easy. They should have done, like, all three at once. I'm kind of sad now. No. Alright. Wait, what? Wait, where are the Dread Zone challenges? Oh, they are really rushing us to the end of the game. Now we're officially done with Dread, cha Dread Zone challenges, aren't we? Huh. Well, in that case, I guess now it's off to Maraxis. That's kind of weird that they didn't have any Dread Zone. That's the very first planet that didn't have any at all. That had two, one, two, three, two, four, two, three, two, three, and two. And I guess they really are done. And I'm, I'm guessing that means there's none on this planet either. Wow, it's a good thing I, I did them all already, because I think you need to do a certain amount of Dread Zone challenges in order to get unlock the final area. Alright, Maraxis it is then.